What's up guys, welcome to today's video. On the video today, we are going to be focusing on a back to basics haircut. This is a haircut, yes, from beauty school. It's the 180 degree haircut. The reason I wanted to go over this haircut today is I really wanted to focus on fundamentals and I also want to explain why these haircuts are important. So uh, this is all part of a series that I'm putting together for FSE On Demand. That is a free app available on iOS and Android. So if you guys haven't downloaded the app yet, make sure you head on over to your local app store. FSE On Demand is a great tool for being able to just look up something to use in the salon. It's straight education. There's not only me on there, but there's other artists as well that we have filmed in our studio. So, so it's an amazing tool, at obviously an amazing price. So uh, go check it out, guys. All right, so we're gonna get started with the video. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. Here we go. What's up guys, welcome to today's video. On the video today, I'm gonna to be focusing on a haircut straight out of hair school. Now this is a fundamental haircut called the 180 degree haircut. Basically everything's gonna be lifted straight up from the head. You'll notice my sectioning was very basic, uh, the basic four quadrants. So I go right down center back all the way down and then I go at the division point from the high point of the head down to behind the ear. And then I start taking right in the very front of the head, my section straight up. Now the key to this haircut and having success with the haircut is to take very small fine sections, about half an inch wide. Um, take about 70% of your old cut, like the cut that, or the hair that you just cut, and then add in 30% of new hair. That's going to make sure that you have a nice clean guideline and you're not um, over directing the hair too far away from where it lives so you get a nice uh, clean line as you lift up the hair and cut it. So you can see everything's coming straight up from the head, not being over directed at all, just straight up and out. Now besides working on fundamentals, the reason I wanted to create this series of haircuts to really focus on you know, the back to basics is really just um, understanding the reasoning behind these haircuts. Now it's not one that you're gonna go and you're gonna transfer it to all your guests or you're gonna be, this is your layering technique, this is how you're gonna layer everybody's hair. That's not what it's all about. What this is about is being able to work the fundamentals, learn how to layer hair, and then you can transfer that into different things. So this is all straight up from the head, but then there's other techniques where you're gonna over direct the hair. Um, but this is the, in the most basic form, creating layers on the head shape. So another basic um, fundamental of hair cutting is not cutting past your second knuckle. Now I want to discuss this because a lot of people think don't cut past your second knuckle because you might cut yourself. Well, um, just so you guys know, I have cut my first knuckle uh, many, many times. So uh, it really has nothing to do with cutting your, your knuckles. It has everything to do with tension. So when we talk about tension, why is tension important in a haircut? Well. If you don't have the same tension throughout your section, if um, the tip of your finger is holding the hair tighter than the inside of your finger, then that the hair on the inside of your finger is going to be loose. And when it's loose, it's kind of pulled out. And then when you cut your line, you don't get your nice hard line. So a lot of people think, I need to hold the hair tight. I need to comb it tight. Um, all of these things. Well, when you do that, you're pulling the hair where it wants to naturally live. So honestly, um, lighter tension on most hair types is kind of um, the way to go throughout uh, in most hair cuttings, just saying in general, right? But there are times where you need tighter tension. There's times where you need uh, even less tension. Like when you're working around a cowlick area, you want to really be light on the tension because you don't want to pull the hair too far from where it wants to naturally fall. So uh, those are kind of key things. So just really focus on that tension. Don't worry about the second knuckle thing so much. Just understand that your tension is going to be different past your second knuckle uh, in most cases. So you can see my body position has not changed within this haircut. Um, so I'm staying in the back of the head. I'm combing the hair away from my body. So that's another uh, key thing to focus on is how do you comb the hair? What separates a good hairdresser and a great hairdresser is how well they comb. It's not how well they cut. It's where they comb the hair to to cut it off, right? So anything you do with the hair, any shift that you make with your section is going to change the outcome of your haircut, uh, either for the good or the bad, right? So just understand every move you make and why it's um, doing what it's doing. So notice my last comb, 
is away from my body because I'm pushing that new hair to the guide. I want it to live right at the guideline. I don't want to move my guide to the new section because that'll make my guide shorter. Okay, so just finishing up, notice still consistent with the combing, uh, making sure I'm pushing the hair. Something that's great, um, and one thing, obviously, after making 700 videos for YouTube, you really get to watch yourself um, cut hair and watch every move that you make and kind of analyze the way that you cut hair. I would highly recommend any of you guys out there, not necessarily that you have to put it out on YouTube and for the world to see, but film yourself or have somebody film you cutting hair so that you can take it back and and watch it and um, kind of learn from it and really study what you do and the consistency that you do it um, because that's going to make you a better hair cutter in the end. All right, so now we're continuing from the front to the back. Key thing here is just to stay vertical. So we cut vertically uh, from the very front to the midpoint of the head. And now I'm going to start in the center back, connect uh, using a guideline from the top of the head um, and connect that all the way through and work my way across the back of the head shape. Um, hair cutting is three dimensional and we talk about that a lot. Really what that means is that you're working horizontally and you're working vertically uh, and you're working with the length, right? So um, horizontally, you're working with your shape and really just what that line is gonna be. Um, are you following the head shape? Are you building corners? Are you pushing weight to the front? Are you pushing weight to the back? That's horizontal. Then when you look at vertical, um, that's how much weight you're leaving on the haircut. Um, is it a layered haircut? Is it a graduated haircut? And then obviously you pick your length and that kind of makes up all the different aspects of what the haircut is all about, right? So um, right now I'm working vertically, um, which is working also on my elevation, but at the same time I'm building a line horizontally. So to try to help you guys, you know, make that make sense, if I took um, any of this hair and I pull it up vertically or horizontally, I should see a perfect line. Uh, and that goes to show that the, the shape that I was creating um, is precise. So just make sure um, you do your cross checking, make sure that you have a line both ways and you'll know that you did this haircut correct. So you can see still pushing the hair away from my body into that guideline. When I work on the opposite side, when I'm working on the left hand side of the head, I will be pulling the hair towards my guide, but everything's still coming straight up from the head shape. Notice how I comb the hair. I am using the tight teeth of the comb at this point combing the hair away from myself, uh, keeping my section nice and clean um, because the, the worst thing you want to do is get tangled up in, in lots of hair. So just keep your sections clean. Even if it takes you a little bit extra time, you can see that line that we're creating right there uh, in the dry, uh, let's semi-dry uh, look of it. Now we're going to blow it dry, but um, just keep your sections clean as you work through the haircut. It, it may take a tiny bit longer to do that, but you're not going to have to go back and make any corrections because you have it right the first time. So now I'm going with Paul Mitchell Neuro Lift, and we're going to do a kind of an extra, like a, a full body blowout uh, for this cut because um, when I was in beauty school, I learned with rollers. You did a 180 degree haircut, and then you did some roller set, and you got lots and lots of volume. So we're going to kind of mimic that um, using our Paul Mitchell Pro Tools blow dryer, and then also my Ergo paddle brush. And I'm going to set the hair to get maximum volume. Again, the end style of this is not the point of this haircut. It is going to be a little bit dated because there's nothing modern about this technique. Um, but all of these techniques can be used in the salon. If you want to build volume, you do on the base uh, blowout. Uh, I'm going through, I'm keeping everything very symmetrical. This is a very basic round brush blow dry. Uh, key things here, focus on truck and trailer method, which is basically really keeping that nozzle following the round brush and working my way over and over that section. What I say is like the stages of hair goes from wet to damp um, to dry to smooth, right? So a lot of people will go right to dry and then they kind of leave it alone. You want to just do a couple extra passes over the hair. That'll get that shine in it because shiny hair doesn't come. Uh, it's not just naturally shiny. 
what shiny hair is is a perfect cuticle laying down nice and soft and reflecting light so um, you want to make sure that that cuticle is laying nice and smooth the way you do that is adding that heat and just really smoothing it out nice the other thing that I'm doing uh, in this technique is I'm pre you're not seeing it because I sped everything up but um, I pre spray the hair with protect um, from Paul Mitchell Neuro and the reason I do that is because it's got a nice uh, medium hold for one because um, I'm trying to get the shine and the smoothness and two it's going to protect the hair from the heat uh, because most damage comes from blow drying hair um, so I do that then I go in with Paul Mitchell Neuro finish really set the hair let it all cool um, and then I start taking out the pins right so we get our set you can see the volume it's just crazy maximum volume um, looks even better on really long hair but obviously these mannequins are only as long as they are so um, but you can see the, the seamlessness of the layers which I really love and how that line creates on the top so really cool layer cut I uh, hope you guys liked it hope you like going back taking this trip back to beauty school with me uh, to go through this haircut if you have any questions let me know in the comments thank you so much for watching I'll see you on the next one